You're watching WMAR 2 News. With this digital news update, I'm Kelly Swoop. A former Baltimore City Police detective with ties to the Gun Trace Task Force will spend more than two years in prison. A judge sentenced Robert Hanker to 30 months in prison. He was found guilty on charges of corruption and conspiracy back in March. He was convicted for planting drugs on a suspect and lying on a search warrant request. He was also convicted of conspiring with other officers to plant a BB gun on a man back in 2014. That was after GTTF member Sergeant Wayne Jenkins ran over that man with his car. The man who Jenkins ran over, Dimitri Simon, filed a $17 million lawsuit against the police department and several members on the Gun Trace Task Force. Jenkins is serving 25 years in prison for his role in the GTTF scandal. A gun trace task force lawsuit and two more against other Baltimore police officers could be settled by the Board of Estimates Wednesday. One accuses an officer of using excessive force to make an arrest. The suspect was injured in the arrest and the charges were later dropped. In another case, two men say an officer caused them to get in a crash. A third lawsuit accuses several GTTF officers of false arrest and imprisonment. If approved, the city would pay $220,000 to settle all three cases. The Board of Estimates will vote on these settlement issues coming up on August 3rd. No question it has been a rough two years with the pandemic. It's easier though to get help now if you're experiencing mental health issues. Baltimore area leaders announced call 988. It's an emergency mental health hotline for this region. If someone in Baltimore City or Baltimore, Carroll or Howard counties needs aid, someone local will be able to pick up and help. The 988 number launched nationwide earlier this month. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. And after a picture perfect Saturday, we're going to be looking at a sunny start to your Sunday with morning numbers in the upper 60s, low 70s. Expecting the clouds though to start to increase through the day. Temperatures will be climbing into the mid to upper 80s as we head into the second half of your Sunday afternoon. And then we're looking at some of those showers moving in as we get closer to around the 10 to 11 o'clock time frame. This rain looks rather light in nature, mainly going to be a bit of a nuisance, but I want you to know just in case you have any late evening dinner plans don't want you to be stuck without the umbrella and then as we turn the page to Monday better rain opportunities for the afternoon some pop ups Tuesday and then we're dry and warming through the rest of the week into the low to mid 90s. Stick with us online. We'll bring you updates on top stories and breaking news. And if you're looking for news and weather while you're on the go, download our WMER2 News app in your app store. You can watch live radar and get breaking news sent straight to your phone.